Hey what's up guys after a couple of years in content creation one thing i have realized what we need the most is storage initially we used external hard drives but let be honest those are slow and over time they even get slower so we switched to external ssds they are super fast but yeah they can be expensive That's when we thought why not build our DIY external SSD at a lower cost. About 2 years ago we built this one using a 2.5 inch SATA SSD and a SATA enclosure. It was the cheapest way to make an external SSD but it only gives around 500 Mbps speed. Good enough for storage but not great if you want to edit videos or play games directly from it. So today we are making another DIY external SSD but this time using a NVMe M2 drive and the NVMe enclosure the best part even with this upgrade it's still cheaper than the ready made external ssds available on the market but before we start let me tell you there are few pros and cons which i will share at the end so my name is ankita and let's build this diy ssd we are using the wd blue gen 4 nvme m2 ssd 500 gb and for the casing we have got the nvme enclosure from pybox this one's awesome it has a metal body a cooling fan and comes with a thermal heat sink tape nvme drives heat up a lot so proper heat dissipation is super important for performance and longevity it also has a type c port so you can use your phone's type c cable for data transfer plus it comes with a travel case and you get two cables one usb c to usb a another usb c to usb c these are high speed cables so you will get the max performance especially when using the type c cable to transfer data from your computer's type c port now assembly is super simple just insert the ssd into the enclosure and apply the thermal tape on the top of the ssd and close the casing make sure the thermal tape touches the metal casing properly for better heat dissipation all right the ssd is physically ready but to make it functional you will need to do some setup when you plug it into a windows laptop for the first time it might not show up in the my computer no worries Here's what to do. Go to computer management and then go to disk management. A pop-up will appear asking you to initialize the disk. Choose GPT. GPT is better for modern systems and support drives larger than 2 TB. Click okay. Now you will see an unallocated disk at the bottom. Mine shows 465 GB available out of 500 GB. To allocate it, right click, choose new simple volume, click next. and again next you can assign a drive letter or leave it default then choose the file system format now listen carefully if you are using this on windows select ntfs but if you want to use it across windows mac Android phones, iPhones or TV choose Xfat. I am choosing Xfat since I will use it on my Mac and phone too. Click next and then finish. After a few seconds your SSD will be ready and will appear as a new drive. Let's test the speed now using Crystal Disk Mark. I ran the test on my Windows laptop and to be honest I was a bit disappointed. It only gave 463 Mbps of max speed even though I used the type C port. I expected at least 1000 mbps so what's wrong after some digging i found out that my laptop's usb c port is actually usb 3.0 which maxes out at 500 mbps to get full speed your system needs a usb 3.2 gen 2 type c port luckily my mac mini has that so i connected the ssd to the mac mini and ran the same test again boom The result were amazing. Read speed 990 Mbps and write speed 972 Mbps. That's more like it. This enclosure supports up to 10 Gbps, which means 1000 to 1200 Mbps is achievable if you use the right port. With this speed, you can easily watch 4K videos directly from SSD. Play games, connect it to a PlayStation or smart TV, even edit videos using software like Final Cut Pro. I try it works smoothly no lag at all so let's talk about the pros and cons pros cheaper than most ready made ssds same high speed read and write performance you can choose your ssd brand and specs reusable if you need you can remove and use the ssd internally also great for repurposing old ssds cons 
not weather proof if you travel a lot go for ready made rugged ssd with ip68 water and dust resistance it does heat up a little but the metal casing and the fan handle that well the fan only activates during heavy transfer and has a auto sleep for power saving if anything fails it usually just the enclosure not the ssd itself which is more durable and has a 5 year warranty and if casing fails you can purchase new one and replace it it's reliable and your data will be safe also as i said earlier i had built a similar ssd a few years ago using a sata ssd this one still works perfectly but only support 500 mbps max if you are a light user and just like to watch movies or need storage for movies or files then this option is still good and even cheaper all the product links are in the description below if you have any doubts drop them in the comments don't forget to like subscribe and i will see you in the next one